afternoon, Council Rock. For those who don't know me, I'm Mrs. Hitchcock. I teach reading and math here. It's wonderful to just see you, and I am so excited to help introduce this program for you. It is called Healthy Hawks, and we have four players from the Rochester Nighthawks lacrosse with us today. Can you give them a round of applause for being here? Okay, so I want to tell you a little bit about this program. I know that you, as, as are a good team yourselves, you have been working so hard to prepare for this program. I'd like to thank Mrs. Cooper and Mrs. Ball for helping you talk about healthy choices, right? You've been talking about healthy choices in PE this week and probably throughout the year, right? And also healthy exercise habits. Well, these players are going to go more into that topic there. So I want you to be excellent listeners like I know that you are. We are a rocking team together. So give them your best listening skills. And if you have any questions, just save it for the end, OK? And remember, a question is to find out more information about something. So I know that you're excited to tell about yourselves, but we really are looking for things you want to know. So who or what or when, OK? All right, so eyes up on the players, and I'd like to introduce Brad. How are we doing today, guys? Oh, that's awesome. So thank you for the introduction. Uh, like your teacher said, uh, we are all professional lacrosse players for the Rochester Nighthawks. And so what we do, we play is what's called uh, box lacrosse. And so I'm sure many, many of you are familiar with the sport of lacrosse and I've seen it out on the field, on a soccer field, a football field. But what we do is called box across, and that's actually inside of a hockey rink. So we play down at the Blue Cross Arena, right downtown Rochester, um, and it's a, it's a pretty cool place to be able to play uh, our home games, and it's a really, really fun time. My name is Brad Gillies. Uh, this is my third year with the Rochester Nighthawks. Uh, I'm from just outside of or, a town just outside of Toronto. <laughs> Uh, and then I went to school locally here at RIT, so I've been uh, in Rochester for almost seven years now. And uh, I was drafted by the Rochester Nighthawks out of college uh, in 2015. And I brought with me a couple of my uh, teammates here. Um, this is Jake Withers right here, Austin Shanks, and Eric Fennell. And they're all rookies with our team this year. Uh, they're all first round draft picks uh, that we took uh, this year. So they're all in their first year with the Nighthawks. And they all went to school together before this, too. They went to Ohio State University. Um, and so it's pretty cool for them to go to college together for four years. And then now they're drafted in the same team professionally. So it's a pretty cool story. So Healthy Hawks, that's what we're here to talk about today. So in 2014, the Rochester Nighthawks team and staff, we vowed to live as a healthy hawk. Obesity rates have tripled over the past three decades. So we had seen as a team that there was an issue going on in our community and across North America. So we wanted to use our platform as professional athletes to try to deliver a really good message about trying to live as a healthy hawk. So to live like a healthy hawk, you need to do these things every day. So this is some of the stuff we're gonna talk about today. Getting active for 60 minutes each day. Stepping away from the screen. So stepping away from the video games and watching TV and getting active and, and, and playing outside. Eating all my fruits and vegetables at every meal. Eat fast food no more than once a month. Replace soda or sugary drinks with water and go to my doctors for regular checkups. So that's some of the things that we're gonna talk about today. So I'm sure some of you guys have seen this diagram right here. Um, so this, this is a, a food, uh, the food groups and a healthy eating plate. So what we see there is a diagram of a plate and that should be our goal every time we sit down at a meal is try to have these food groups on our plate and taking about out up a bunch of, about that much of each plate. So the first thing we see there at the top is fruits. So fruits are really, really healthy for you. They have tons of vitamins and nutrients. So who here can tell me one of their favorite fruits that they like to eat? Hands up. <laughs> Blueberries and apples, very good. Right here in the pink. Strawberries, very good. One of grapes, very good fruit. And the green and blue? Peach. 
Grapes, very good. We're right here in the front. Apples, another really good one. So that's, you guys just named about six different fruits. They're all really, really good for you. So it's important that we're trying to eat fruits at least once a day. But if we can get in more than that, it's going to be really, really helpful. So the next one we see is vegetables. Vegetables are so, so, so good for you. I can't stress enough that how good vegetables are for you. If you, if you saw our, our plates at every single meal, we almost have two-thirds of our, our plates at every meal filled with vegetables. So who can name one of their favorite vegetables that they like to eat? Yep. Carrots, very, very good. And the orange? Peppers, awesome, good job. Cucumber, another really good one. Lettuce, very good too, eating salads. Broccoli, another one of the best uh, vegetables for you. That's a really, really good one. What about you, Eric? Mushrooms, mushrooms are one of your favorites. Jake? Tomatoes. Well, tomato is actually a fruit. Uh, we went over this early. But that's a tricky one. That's a good one, though. And I, a quick, a, a quick uh, brain buster that I used this morning, actually. So if you're here this morning, you, you heard this one. But So if a tomato is a fruit, does that make ketchup a smoothie? Why not? I don't know. That's, I don't know. That blew my mind when I first heard that one. So, <laughs> so the next one we see is grains up there. So grains. So it's it's important that we are eating our grains. It, it, it'll give us a lot of energy. One thing we should try to do when we're eating our grains is try to switch to whole grains whenever we're doing that. So instead of white bread, we can eat the whole wheat bread, and it's just a little bit more healthy for you. It's the same thing with brown rice and and whole wheat pasta. So we should try to make those choices when we're choosing our grains. The next one we see is protein. So protein's really, really good for you, and especially if we're gonna get big and strong. We wanna build big muscles, and that's how protein helps repair our muscles, and especially when we're exercising a bunch. So who can name one of their favorite proteins they like to eat? Water, no, that's a, a liquid. Protein, so my favorite protein I like to eat is chicken. I eat chicken almost every sing three times a night, or three times a week, sorry. So chicken, I'm, I'm eating it a ton. Fish, very good. Lots of protein in there and lots of other good stuff. And the pink. Chicken, very good. I like chicken too. Crab, very good. A little pricey for me, but. <laughs> yeah. A little louder, sorry. Eggs? Eggs, very, very good. That's an awesome one. So I try to eat eggs every single morning, and I know these guys do too. There's just, it's just the best way to start your day is, is to eat a couple eggs. Meatballs, very good right here. Chicken, very good. Last one right here. Chicken nuggets, all right, I don't know. There's some good in there, but we'll get to that later. But I too like chicken nuggets, I'm not gonna lie. So one thing we talk about is, is being a conscious eater. And so what that means is uh, knowing what you're putting in your body and whether that's, you know that's healthy for you or unhealthy for you. So right now, and you guys are all kids, uh, four of us are, are big kids, we, we're all human and we, we like to treat ourselves every once in a while. We're not gonna lie to you guys and say that we've never eaten fast food in our life. We, we like to do that every once in a while, maybe once a month. But it's important that we know when we are eating that type of food, chips and, and some processed food, that we know that that's not maybe the healthiest thing for me. But you can think, hey, I had a, a really good week. I've been eating healthy all the time. Maybe I can have this one little treat that, that I, I, I really enjoy. So it, the important thing is making sure that we know 
that if we eat this stuff every single day, it's probably going to lead to some unhealthy things. So we've got to make sure we know when we're putting healthy stuff in our body and unhealthy stuff and try to limit the unhealthy stuff as much as we can. So a very easy way to, to start becoming a healthy hawk is by switching some of the drinks that you, you choose. So there's some really, really good, uh, the easy way to, to get healthier is by switching some of these drinks. So water is the best thing that you can drink. It's, it, it, we try to drink it all the time. If you saw uh, Austin at his, at his desk, he has a water bottle that he's just constantly filling and just drinking water all day because it just does so many good things for you. Milk is, is very important for us to, to grow strong bones and, uh, and, and so you can grow right, nice and tall. Fruit juice has some, has some very good uh, vitamins in it that are going to help you stay healthy as well. The, the, what we have to do though is substitute these for some of the non-healthy drinks. So who can tell me some of the non-healthy drinks that they should be substituting for these drinks that I just talked about? Yep. Soda. Very good, yes, yeah, soda is, is a very, very unhealthy drink for us. There's so much sugar in there, it just does no good for you. Chocolate milk, I think chocolate milk's actually pretty healthy. Um, there's lots of protein in there, but sometimes there can be a lot of sugar, so it, if we choose the right one, making sure there's not too much sugar. Sprite, very good, a lot of sugar in that. In the maroon fruit punch so with some of those some of the fruit punches can be pretty good if it's natural natural fruit juice but there's also some that are, are made by some of the soda brands that are, are very very high in sugar and not many nutrients in there so yeah you got to make the right choice way in the back right corner Coca-Cola, and he said Gatorade, so that's a very, very good one to say. So we, we always think uh, sport drinks, Gatorades are, are, are pretty healthy for us because of the way that they're advertised, but they're really only really good for you after a, a, a sport, after you practiced, after you, you had a, a really long uh, exercise. So that's when it kind of can replenish your, your fluids, but if you're just opening your lunch and having a Gatorade, it's not very healthy for you because there's so much sugar in it, so it's important. To, to not just have a Gatorade for lunch because it's not really doing that much for you and it's just adding a lot of sugar to your body. So like I had said before, drinking lots of water is very important. Water can do so many good things for you. It, it, it's the best way to quench our thirst. It prevents dental problems even. It strengthens your teeth and bones and it keeps your body hydrated. And so when your body's hydrated, you're gonna have much more energy. It's just gonna be working at a, a more efficient manner. So it's really important to stay hydrated. One thing I always say is, if you, if you might wake up uh, after a really good night's sleep, you got eight hours, 10 hours, and, you, and you're very well rested, but you still just can't wake up, you're still so drowsy, it might be because you're dehydrated. So what I do every single morning, I have a big glass of water right beside my bed, and right when I wake up, I just chug the water, and I, and I get my body ready to start the day. So it's always good to be drinking water. So the next biggest thing about being a healthy hawk is getting active. At least 60 minutes a day is what we want you guys doing every single day. So we gotta be getting those 60 minutes in every single day. But that doesn't mean once we hit that 60 minutes, we call it a day, we got our, our stopwatch, 60 minutes, okay, I'm back to the TV and back to playing video games. We wanna get that 60 minutes and then some, all right? We wanna try to get way over that 60 minutes and try to keep going as, as long as we can. And what, we want, what we're talking about uh, activity is moderate or vigorous activity. So to, to be included in that 60 minutes, we should be getting our heart rate up and we should be breathing heavily and, and, and making our body have to work, all right? So that's what uh, is included in those 60 minutes. Some of the benefits of, of doing that exercise and, and uh, daily activity, it helps reduce the chance of sickness Right now it's, uh, it's cold season, tons of people are coughing and sneezing. If we're active all the time, our body is way less likely to get sick. It helps build muscle. You wanna be big and strong like Eric over there, a lot of exercise will get you there. Build strong bones. 
So fun ways to be active. So here's just a few fun ways that we can be active, running around, playing Foursquare, playing sports. So who can tell me a couple of their favorite sports that they like to play? Basketball? Baseball, very good. Lacrosse, a, a really good one. My, one of my favorites as well. Soccer, very good. In the blue? Hockey, very good. As I had said, all of us are, are from Canada, so we all played hockey growing up too, so we all love hockey. Baseball? You have two? Let's hear them. Jump rope and bicycle, two really good ones too. Austin, what's your favorite sport to play? Swimming. Swimming. Oh, I, I didn't know that about him. <laughs> tag. Jake loves playing tag. In the pink. Soccer. Very, very good. So you guys just named a dozen different sports that you love to play, which is great to hear. I, when we were growing up, we didn't just play lacrosse, that wasn't all that we did. We always just tried to play as many different sports as we can because I, I, I enjoyed all of them and, and it's just really fun to, just to play different things. So it's important that we're always just trying to, to learn new games and, and just try them out and sports is one of the best ways for us to, to get our uh, daily activity in. So another thing that's very important is our doctor visits. So you got to keep up with your required shots and make sure if your body's not feeling right, if something just doesn't feel right, make sure you talk to your parents and, and maybe go see the doctor. So it's very important to keep up with that. And they, a very, very easy way for us to become healthy hawks, because that's what we want to all be, is, is washing our hands frequently. Like I said before, it's cold season right now. Everybody's coughing, everybody's sneezing. So germs are just flying everywhere. We have to wash our hands all the time. It just helps prevent the spread of germs. Um, and and it, it's done so easily right now. So every time we, we finish recess, we just try to wash our hands and, and just wash them as much as we can throughout the day. So like we had said earlier, eating your fruits and vegetables is so important. You guys had named so many really good fruits and vegetables. The most important thing is to find the ones you like and then you just got to make sure you're eating them all the time. I know uh, myself, I'm, I, I don't love asparagus and, and Brussels sprouts that much, so I don't really eat them. But I love broccoli, I love carrots, so I, I'm eating those ones all the time. So find the ones that you like, and if you do like these ones, I know your parents aren't going to be mad if they have to give them to you constantly. If, if they know that you're going to be eating those vegetables or fruit, those will be the ones that they'll give you. So here's some more benefits of living healthy. There's so many. It increases your energy. I know that seems a little weird. If I'm, if I'm exercising all the time and running around, you think you'd have less energy, but it's, it's actually the opposite. Our bodies are, once they're trained and they're, and they're being active all the time, your energy is just gonna increase because your body's just a little bit more efficient. So your body will thank you for, for being, doing that increased activity. It helps build confidence in yourself. It improves posture self-esteem and it helps with sleep. You'll have a much better sleep at night after a day of activity than if you did if you just sat on the couch all day. You're, you're gonna have a much better sleep from uh, doing lots of activity. So we're gonna try something here. I'm gonna say take a walk and you guys are gonna say be a healthy hawk. All right, you think we can do that? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Take a walk. Be a healthy hawk. Good job, very good guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the floor to you guys for a little bit. We're going to let you guys ask some questions to any of us. So you can ask us questions about the presentation, about being a Nighthawk, what it's like to do that. So I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. But like we said before, we're going to try to ask as many questions as we can. So are we college lacrosse or are we something else? So we're, at, we're professional lacrosse, so, so we, are, we are paid to, to do, play the game that we love. Um, so it's pretty cool. We all 
played at, at college before this. So that's kind of how we got here. We all played in college and then we got, uh, we got seen in college and, and then got drafted to play to, to, for the Nighthawks. Hmm, that's a, that's a new one I haven't heard. <laughs> um, I would uh, just try to find a store that's open um, or hope that, that there's something that uh, maybe your parents can whip up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh. How long have I been playing? Very good question. So I've been playing since I was four years old. So over 20 years now I've been playing. How about you, Austin? Uh, 13 years. 13 years? Eric? Since he was four? 15 years been playing. So yeah, so we've all been playing for a very long time and so we've had to really practice for a long time to, to make sure we uh, are able to play at this level. But, and another thing that's important, if if we want to keep playing for 10 more years, I think like all of us want to do, it's very important that we live as healthy Hawks if we're going to do that. Because if not, there's going to be a bunch of more young guys that are just going to take our spots. So we got to make sure that we're always staying a healthy Hawk so we can keep playing. So we play uh, across North America. So we go uh, all the way to the west coast of North America. We go to Colorado. We go up to Toronto. So we, we travel all, all around. Good question. In the stripe, white stripe. You play lacrosse, very cool. Are we undefeated? So right now we are two and three. So we actually just, we had a rough weekend. We lost two games this weekend, but uh, we're gonna rebound this weekend and get back to 500. But we had uh, a really good start to the season. We won both our games by over 10 goals. So we, uh, we had a really good start. So we're, we're gonna be playing well. What's up guys? All right, we got a Batman shirt right here. What's up? How did we get to play lacrosse? So uh, same thing. So they, a lot of these guys started when they were four. I started a bit uh, older. Um, just your age. So our parents uh, wanted to put us in a sport. They chose lacrosse and uh, we stuck with it, worked hard and got us here. Uh, right in the middle. Yep. You play lacrosse? Nice, you're a healthy hawk. Uh, Superman shirt, going with the superheroes. Do you? Lost lacrosse players. Orange shirt. Pardon? So, um, you guys probably see a lot of field lacrosse. Uh, we actually play indoors, so we, uh, we put turf over top of the ice, and we play in, uh, Inside, so it's nice weather all the time. Uh, blue shirt. Yeah. Uh, so we play teams all over. Uh, so last weekend we played the Toronto Rock. Uh, we played New England. Uh, we played Colorado, uh, Calgary, Georgia. So we play teams from all over. Uh, green and blue. How many, what, sorry? Oh, how many games do we play? Uh, so we play 18 in a season, and then playoffs. Oh, uh, we are two and three currently, so we've won two, and we're gonna win on Sunday. Uh, blue shirt. What was my favorite subject? That's a good one. Uh, actually, my favorite subject was gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I 
I also enjoyed math. <laughs> Get the people. Give the people what they want. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do two more questions. We'll go pink shirt. How sweaty do we get? Uh, so as you can see, our jerseys are pretty big and thick. Uh, we have to wear gear as well, and we're inside, so we get pretty sweaty. We can actually lose between two and five pounds per game. Who do you want? All right, last question, orange sweater. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so um, I was asked, how many meals do I get in a day? Um, I try and get in five to six smaller meals a day. Uh, my breakfast is my biggest. Uh, lunch is a bit bigger. I try and get snacks in between and then a, an average to smaller size dinner. Um, also good though is three meals a day. Um, snacking, uh, celery, stuff like that throughout the day is really good. Um, Everything we talked about is getting your vegetables and your fruit. Those are a great time to add in to snacks in between your main meals. Uh, so I try and get about five and six a day. I'm going to pass it back to Brad. So the big one he said there is eating breakfast every day. So that's one thing you guys got to make sure you do is eating breakfast every single day because you're going to start your day with way more energy. And I know teachers can tell when, uh, when you haven't eaten your breakfast, you're just out of it and you just don't have any energy. So make sure you're eating your breakfast so you can come to school with lots of energy. So because you guys have been so good, um, we actually have a little gift for you guys today. So you guys were such a good audience. So what we have here is our little pamphlets. And so it has all the details of uh, what we talked about today about living like a healthy hawk. Um, and then on the back, there is the pledge that we talked about to vowing to live as a healthy hawk. And if you guys are willing to sign this, we're gonna give you guys a free ticket to a Rochester Nighthawks game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so make sure we are living as healthy Hawks every single day and, and, and hopefully we'll see you guys down at, a, at the Blue Cross Arena for one of our games. Thanks guys. All right, let's give them one more big thank you from Council Rock. Woo!